Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here with owner of Dallas Vintage Toys, Sean Ninest. We were able to pick up a really cool collection today. What are we looking at, Sean? Uh, my childhood. <laughs> this is 104 carded 1980s, uh, early 80s to... It might be a couple early 90s G.I. Joe. Has Start been, over here and kind of go through these. Here we go. Beautiful Monkey collection. Monkey wrench, vipers, bats. Dr. To... Mindbender. I didn't know if you had any like, uh, voices you do. Or... Oh, uh, let's say Dr. Mindbender. Hawk, mainframe, leatherneck, beachhead, dial tone, lifeline. Funny about Iceberg, when I was a kid, I used to call him Coconut Man because I was obsessed with coconuts and... He had that uh, funny coconut-looking suit on. Okay, your top favorite one on the top rack. Mm, uh, growing up, not now, growing up. Probably Bats. I got him for Christmas along with him when I was four years old. Still have the exact ones I got for Christmas when I was four. Probably save And Coconut Man. Vipers. The Vipers. All right, next rack. So my this friend the 86 growing ones. up on the next block over, Joel Gonzalez, if you're watching, I know you follow us so. Still in town, but anyway, for you, Joel. He had this was his go to team, but they drove in the Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders. This was his team, and I think he might have had shockwave driving or something like that. Okay, but these uh, these guys are also my favorites. Python Patrol. Here's some uh, the condition of these are just incredible. I had him dusty growing up. Got him at, I think, Tom Thumb. All right, so out of this rack, which one was your favorite? Mm, definitely this Flint. Actually, no, I got Dusty. I got for Christmas one year. My parents tricked me, put it in a clothing box, and I shook it. I, I opened it up, and it was like a Dillard's box. And then when I actually opened it, it was a figure. That was pretty funny. My dad always pulled tricks like that. Oh, I guess I'm always a bad guy. I like the Copperhead. Oh, yeah, Copperhead? He's a good one, too. And down yeah, Flint there, probably. mine would probably be Shockwave. Oh, yeah, That's Shockwave was a good one. Down here we've got Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders, Low Light, Footloose, Sergeant Slaughter, the man himself. We've got Spirit, Mud and Junkyard, I Barbecue. Have a question. Is that a factory error because they gave you double the paint? I th it may be, actually. There's a freebie. Storm Shadow, yeah, I, I couldn't wear that paint to school, although I wanted to. Snake Eyes, Lightfoot, and then Muskrat was always a really cool one. This is just camo paint, not that brand, but like real military paint, go up in the trees, play army men or whatever. Nice, man. I never had the real camo paint. Well, I had a bunch of these figures growing up. I had uh, Jinx, Gung Ho, the Cobra Commander, uh, Zorana. Oh, yeah. I got him when I was a kid. My mom bought him for me at a KB Toys at Redbird Mall in Duncanville. Remember, I drove, drove her nuts for that one. That one I actually may have to buy myself. Zorana and her evil brother. What else are we looking at? Uh, you got some figures that are going to be hard up there. It's like some Eco Warriors, I guess, in the battle. Talking Cobra Commander, Eco Warrior, Cesspool. A zombie vibe, or was it viper zombie? Or rather, that's more uh, kind of hard to read the names up there. Metalhead wetsuit. I had a few of those when I was a kid. Let's see, he was the the astronaut. You were supposed to get him with the defiant the countdown. Hey, countdown. Mm, ambush. He was one of my favorites. He's a real good one. And then if we go down here, Battle Force Two Thousand. I remember I got him for Christmas, Charbroil, with the Cobra Night Raven, funny enough. I believe I had Recoil. Recoil, yeah, we actually have two Recoils here. And then down here, some of those uh, small packs, the little uh, action packs, and then some of the more modern, newer ones down here. There's the Sergeant Slaughter's Renegades. I'm surprised you put Chuckles with Jinx next to Cobra Commander. Yeah, they all kind of go together some of the... Get lost in the shuffle. But then we're going to move over here to the desk area, and these are some really heavy hitters. Falcon, Big Boa, Televipers, Original Duke from 1984. 
Originally priced three dollars and forty nine cents. That is uh, what was his name? Airtight. Airtight. <laughs> Airtight and the original Roadblock. Roadblock. So, anyways, guys, Sean, what's going to happen with these figures? What do you think? <laughs> Brad made me that one. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do with these, man? They're in your office. You are swamping me with toys, so we do buy toys as seen here. Some of these are going to go... From out of state. Some of these are going to go directly on the website. Some other ones are going to probably be graded. Um, and some might go in Scott. And some I go in my collection. My sister and I used to fight over this one when we were kids. Zorana. She was like, she was the only uh, female Joe I had when I was a kid because I couldn't find the Baroness. So Melissa would get a hold of her and she would love me. You know what you're obsessed about the Baroness? Death throw. Hmm. I currently have one of those carded. I don't have one of those. Maybe, maybe in my future. I do have Zartan. So anyways, uh, what, Sean? DallasVintageToys.com. We are open today. If you want to come in and look at some of these uh, before maybe they do get sent off, DallasVintageToys.com. Scott will be here to talk Josie Wednesday through Saturday. They'll be in his office. 12021 Plano Road, Suite 190, Dallas, Texas. If you're looking for Joes, we got the Joes. One more time, we'll look at the 86 run up here. We are open until 6 p.m., guys. Come see us. Thank you very much.